The devastating reality is that losing weight is going to destroy your friendships the same way it did to mine when I lost 90 pounds. I'm gonna explain what happened to me and prepare you in your weight loss journey to understand why some of your closest friends are gonna hate the fact you're trying to become a better version of yourself. Weight loss is a long journey and it affects more than just the person losing the weight. It also affects the people around them. You change physically, mentally, emotionally, but your friendships and your relationships change as well. I went from 286 pounds to 196 pounds in nine months. In the beginning of my journey, I stayed off social media. So only the friends that were seeing me in person knew I was going through this drastic change. At first, everyone was supportive when it was just 10, 15 pounds that I was losing. At that stage, you have people saying things like, hey, you look slimmer. Did you lose some weight? It's just enough for people who see you every so often to maybe notice something has changed. But the reality of losing 10 pounds when you're 286 pounds is you're still fat. Yes, I was making progress, but nothing has really changed except for the fact that my clothes fit slightly looser. Now, when I had lost 20 to 40 pounds, that's when things really started changing in my friendships. There's this joke on TikTok where they talk about the group leader. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. My girl, she said she want to get some ice cream. I just want to check in and make sure it was straight. No. Matter of fact, come home right now. And it's a joke, yes, but there's so much truth in that. The group leader joke on TikTok goes that in every group of friends, there is one particular person who decides where you guys hang out, what you guys do, essentially decides what's cool. The group leader is the most influential voice in this group of friends. They decide who belongs in the group, who gets kicked out of the group. They set the standard and the expectations of everyone else in the group. And we all have this dynamic in our friendships on a subconscious level. Each person plays a particular role in the dynamic of the group, whether it be two people of friends or a friend group of 20. My friends in particular had become accustomed to me being the fat friend that nobody pays attention to. But when I started losing 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 pounds, it was no longer a one week juice detox that you can gain all the weight back in a weekend. At that point, I was actually making real lifestyle changes that were affecting how I look physically. Now, anyone that has met me recently can clearly see that I look slimmer, my face has less fat on it. Suddenly, I've become a walking billboard for health and fitness. I see people I know and they're like, wow, you're, you're, you're really losing weight. At that point, two things are happening simultaneously. Some of those people are happy for me, yes, but some of those friends are subconsciously becoming concerned that people are beginning to look at me differently and it might change the dynamic of our relationship. I'm no longer that fat friend that everyone takes as a joke. Suddenly, I'm becoming the person who is making drastic lifestyle changes that is drawing attention. All of a sudden, people are starting to take a notice at how I look. All of a sudden, my new look is becoming the discussion amongst friends and the attention that used to be taken up by the quote unquote pretty ones is now being given to me. And remember what I said about relationship dynamics. People don't just become accustomed to the relationship dynamic, they also become accustomed to what the relationship dynamic does for their self-esteem. People love to feel good about themselves. And what is better than having a fat friend that you get to take everywhere with you, but you still get all the attention, you still get all the phone numbers, you still get all the compliments. But suddenly, as I'm beginning to lose more and more weight, more and more attention is being taken from them and being put onto me. You see, some of my friends were all for my weight loss when I was still the fat friend trying to lose some weight, but I never rivaled them in attractiveness. But when I had lost 40 pounds and my look had drastically changed and my attractiveness had taken a leap, that's when things became an issue. And if you think it's bad now, just wait till I tell you some of the things my friends would say to me when I reached my goal weight. 
Now we get to the point where I had lost 50 to 70 pounds. This is where things really took a turn for the worse. Now that I'm closing in on my goal weight of 196 pounds, not only does my body look different, but my face looks very different. I'm much more chiseled, my jawline is more defined, I just look overall sharper and tighter. In that same time period, I've been working on other aspects of my physical appearance, so my skin looks better. I've even had to buy new clothes because my wardrobe is literally just too big. Not only are the people we already knew giving me more attention, but new people we're meeting are actually bypassing the pretty friends and coming to me instead of them. And I know this sounds like a good thing, but this was actually the worst point in my weight loss journey. And whenever you get really close to that goal weight of yours, that weight that puts you at a healthy BMI, it's going to be the same turning point in your friendships. Because some of my friends are used to the dynamic in which they get most of the outside attention. And now roles are beginning to change. Some roles are even taking a complete 180. Some of those friends are beginning to resent me and resent our friendship. Not all of them, but some of them are. The more I continue to make physical, mental, and emotional changes to better myself, the harder it became to stay my friend. It was easy to be friends with me when I didn't take attention away from anybody. It was easy to be friends with me when it was clear that the dynamic was they were the main character and I was the side character. As the roles in some of my friendships began to change, some people became uncomfortable with the new dynamic in which they are no longer the main focus in the friendship. This is when I began to get comments like, you really think you still got weight to lose? I think you were better when you were bigger. I don't know. I kind of liked you better when you were big. I think your face doesn't look as full now that you're skinny. It's just weird to see you so slim. Are you starving yourself? And one of my personal faves, are you taking anything in particular to lose all that weight? I began to realize a lot of these comments were coming from a place of insecurity because some of my friends no longer knew where the dynamic of our relationship stood now that I was making all of these changes. I was no longer their fat friend who served the purpose of boosting their self-esteem. And at first I was upset. Then I stepped back and really tried to look at it from their perspective. And I realized the only thing worse than never having it at all is having it all and losing it. You see, when one of your close friends is making drastic lifestyle changes and improving themselves, bettering themselves and growing, and you aren't doing any of that, you start to look crazy. Suddenly, some of my friends who had become complacent in our friendship because I was so beneath them in physical attractiveness began to scramble to try to improve themselves in order to keep up with my level. And things only got worse when I finally hit my goal weight. Here I am, 196 pounds, back on social media with a bang and everyone has something to say about it. There are a ton of people who are inspired by what I did and congratulated me and thought it was a positive thing, but there are some people who had varying opinions on my weight loss. Some of those people would tell me things like, oh, you're too cool for me now that you're skinny. Oh, you think cause you look like a model now, you just gonna act totally different? Oh, you don't mess with me now that you think you cute. You think you cute, huh? Oh, they gassed you up. Now you think you doing something. But the truth is, I haven't changed at all. I'm just growing as a person, but the aspects of my character are not any different than they were when I was 286 pounds. But the perception of who I am to the outside world has changed because of how they view me. Now, because my jawline is chiseled, my face is sharper, I'm fitter, my clothes fit better, I look more physically attractive, my personality must be that of a supermodel, of a cool guy. Now I want you to imagine being that friend that everyone used to pay attention to, that everyone used to compliment, that used to get all the phone numbers, and suddenly, that fat friend that everyone used to overlook, people are now brushing past you 
to get to them. All of a sudden, you're playing second fiddle to somebody who used to help you boost your self-esteem. You see, not all of your friends have your best interest in mind all the time. And in fact, some of your friends only have your best interest in mind when it aligns with their best interest. When I was okay being fat, I didn't take care of myself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Our interests aligned because I served as the fat friend who helped to boost their self-esteem. But as soon as I decided to make a change and lose weight, take care of myself, I stopped serving some of their interests. And so they no longer became interested in our friendship. But I'm here to tell you that that's okay. Not every friend you meet in life is meant to be in your life for your entire life. And it doesn't make them a bad person if your friendship is only valuable when your interests are aligned. I'm the same way. You're the same way. There are people in your life who are your friends because it's convenient, because it aligns with your interests. And sometimes when your interests no longer align, the friendship becomes less valuable. I want you to understand that on your weight loss journey, it's not just a change of the physical, the mental, and the emotional. It's also going to be a change of your friendships and your relationships, and that's okay. It's actually a good thing. And as you strive to become a better version of yourself, you will attract new people of the same mindset and grow new friendships and relationships which are mutually beneficial and align with your new best interests. And that's the most beautiful part about life. Now, I didn't get into specific detail of how I lost 90 pounds in nine months in this video, but if you want to hear the story of that, click here.